It's Friday, January 6th. You're listening to your Florida Daily. I'm Katrina Scales. A violent scene in South Florida, as many as 10 people potentially hurt after someone started shooting outside a Miami Gardens restaurant. Witnesses said there was a large group of people gathered outside the Licking restaurant. Victims were transported to different hospitals. Others drove themselves. A witness at the scene said a confrontation happened somewhere else, which then ended at the restaurant. So we did what was logical. We took cover, too. We ducked down to cover. Um, people started running. Um, some people was running by with blood on their shirt. Some people was crying on the ground asking for help. The witness says he was taking part in the filming of a music video for rapper French Montana when he heard about 10 to 15 gunshots. The Miami Gardens police chief said they believe the shooting was an isolated incident. A Seminole County woman is grateful to be alive after she was hit by a stray bullet while ringing in the new year with friends. The bullet just missed her temple, went through her cheekbone, and ended up in her jawline. I just felt like I had been hit with a metal object about the size of like a softball. Kat Wilson says she suddenly felt pain, saw blood, and knew she needed to go to the hospital. They immediately said, well, it looks like you've got something lodged in your jaw. So they did a CT scan, and it became pretty evident. And they said, we think it's a bullet, and we need to call the cops. Detectives say it's possible the shot that hit her was fired far away. It could have been up to a mile and a half away from where the victim was. The bullet is now being used as evidence to find the person who fired it. And plans to expand SunRail's service in Central Florida have just taken a big step forward. On Thursday, a special coalition made up of several groups, including Universal and the iDrive Chamber of Commerce, announced plans to build, finance, and operate a new SunRail station at the Orange County Convention Center. That would include 11 miles of new track to connect the station to existing SunRail line and the Orlando International Airport. Supporters say the expansion will make it easier for hundreds to get to work and to the airport, but planning and construction will take several years to complete. Find these top stories along with breaking news, weather, and traffic all day on ClickOrlando.com. And now, a completely random Florida fact. Florida is home to the Skunk Ape Research Headquarters. The Skunk Ape you didn't know, is supposedly an ape-like creature said to inhabit southern forests and swamps. The research station in Ochopee, near the Big Cypress National Preserve, mostly consists of a gift shop and animal exhibits. But it's also where Dave Sheely conducts studies, investigates reports on sightings, and brings awareness to the elusive creature of the Everglades. Your Florida Daily is produced by News 6 WKMG in Orlando. I'm Katrina Scales. Subscribe to new episodes wherever you like to listen.